Hi, I'm meteorologist Tom Kipp, and as we look at what's ahead, temperatures throughout the day. It's not going to be an Arctic push of cold air, but it's definitely going to be turning colder as we go throughout the daytime hours on Thursday, and we'll continue to see some rain showers or snow showers. We're looking for the winds to pick up as well for Thursday night going on into Friday, and then eventually for Thursday night on into Friday, we are looking at lake effect snow showers. So here's our rain shower chances as we continue throughout the day on Thursday, but notice back to the west across Ironwood, back to Ontonagon and the Keweenaw, we're looking at some snow moving on through, and then we'll see eventually as colder air moves on in, the rain showers start to mix with and change the snow showers. On a gusty northerly wind, we'll see lake effect snow showers in parts of upper Michigan for Thursday night on into Friday, and then as we go into Friday night, I think the lake effect snow does start to diminish some. As we look at our temperature forecast, in the morning, temperatures will be in the 30s, and then I think at lunchtime, temperatures will be in the 30s. Some spots even in the east could even take a run at the upper 30s, but watch the clock here in the upper part of your screen. We are looking at colder air that will be moving into the UP, especially west of Marquette. By late afternoon, early evening, temperatures in some spots could be in the 20s. Here's your extended forecast. We're looking at temperatures turning colder by the afternoon and evening hours on Thursday. Gusty winds with lake effect snow showers Thursday night on into Friday. A dry, quiet day, but not much sun on Saturday, and then our snow chances are back for Saturday night on into Sunday. As of now, for Christmas Eve, we're looking at lake effect snow showers and then a UP wide snow chance for Christmas Day. Nothing big, but enough maybe to freshen up the ground and put some fresh snow on the ground. Thanks for logging on to our webpage, upmatters.com.